Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can make integration between Monday.com and Zapier. First of all, we have to create ourselves an account at Monday.com and once we do that, we are greeted by uh, this homepage of Monday.com. If we want to make the integration straight through Monday, we have to go to the bottom left corner we click on our icon here and we want to go to integrations. There's a couple of integration that you can choose from, as you can see. But if you won't find uh, what you're looking for uh, here in monday.com and you have to make the integration work, uh, there's the other way that uh, you can make this integration work. It's through zapier.com. Zapier.com is uh, quite clever it's quite a clever integration app you also need to create an account here we want to go to dashboard and we want to make a zap once we created the account once we are making the zap uh, as you can see you can name it so we can go with monday to whatever works now we have to uh, choose the application. In our case, the first step is monday.com. Now we have to find trigger event, like new update. It's a couple of them you can pick from. So let's go first with the first one. Continue. You have to choose an account that you created. Press continue. And now you just test the trigger, but you, you don't have to. It's completely up to you if you want to test it or not. Second action will be the app affected uh, by the trigger in monday.com. So if new update happen in monday.com, uh, what will have to happen in, uh, I don't know, let's go with Google Calendar. If uh, new update happen in Monday, it will delete event or create a calendar. You can always change the, the app you want to go with. You don't have to pick just from those that you see here. As you can see, you can use the search engine and go with, I don't know, with Salesforce. It will completely change the look of uh, the second action. Also, it will provide new action events uh, suited to Salesforce. Once again, if we, can, if we do it with uh, Zendesk, for example, also completely change the look and new set of events available for you. So update the ticket, for example, continue. And the last thing you just have to sign into Zendesk. So yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching and see you on the next video.